Hey, welcome back. We're going to read today from Lamentations chapter 1, verses 4 to 6. The roads to Zion mourn because no one comes to the set feasts. All her gates are desolate, her priests sigh, her virgins are afflicted, and she is in bitterness. Her adversaries have become the master, her enemies prosper, for the Lord has afflicted her because of the multitude of her transgressions. Her children have gone into captivity before the enemy, and from the daughter of Zion all her splendor has departed. Her princes have become like deer that find no pasture, that flee without strength before the pursuer. So Jeremiah turns almost immediately to the fact that the sanctuary has been dismantled and it's been defiled. All this would have been avoided had they submitted to the king of Babylon. But the human king of Judah refused, and now the sanctuary is broken down and, and it's closed. It's an unspeakable tragedy for God's people. Now, it's critical to understand what Jeremiah says. The Lord has afflicted her. He's not against her. He is for her, and because he's for her, he's disciplining her. She's not afflicted randomly or arbitrarily, but because of her transgressions. It's marked out right here. She has sinned against the covenant God. She's broken his trust. And the leaders are like frightened deer in, in a lesson for us. When we trust in the Lord, we can act faithfully and boldly. But when we're worried about our own resources and our human allies, we will always be treading quietly and walking about on eggshells. And our service to God is going to suffer because we're we're serving him with some degree of fear. So may God help us to learn this lesson. In fact, let's just pray. Dear Father in heaven, again we come to you recognizing that when you chasten us, it's out of love for us. It's because you're helping us. It doesn't feel very good in the moment, but we want to trust you, Lord, and go forward. Help your people in all ages, not only at Jeremiah's age, but help us in our age, no matter what it takes. We'll trust in you. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Let's serve the Lord today, knowing that he is on our side, even if it hurts sometimes.